Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Zero to two millimeter grade. Well, that dust is all right. But some of these grains are a little bit bigger than two millimeters. I guess somebody's measuring devices on the fritz. So, good Monday morning to you. Good Monday morning to you. I should be at work and I'm here. Dover, get down. <laughs> I'm being dovered. Um, oh, now I'm being dovered. Plastering outfit at the ready. I should be at work and I'm not because we are plastering, um, especially for the camera people who need footage for their TV programme. We are ready in one room, so we're going for it. They've got the footage. We're obviously bringing you along to show what we do. We're not going to be doing the whole thing today. We are doing one room especially because they need it for their timings. So everything ready. Room prepped. Plaster that we're going to be using. Chris has just shown you the sand. Cement mixer at the ready. We've prepped our new spraying machine because the one we had before was the one we borrowed. And we're just waiting for the cameraman to get here. Indeed. Beautiful day. Shame we're going to be in the caves. You are. I'll be outside oh, yeah. mostly of it. So True. the uh, the line rendering stuff that we're using is NHL 3.5. The reason why we use an NHL 3.5 is because it has additives to it. It is stronger than just normal lime. It's still white and it's as close to normal lime as you can get with the additions. I believe there is a 2.5 but not here. Um, it's going to be sprayed on. We can't put it on by hand by using a tool as you've seen on the cave walls um they're a bit crumbly and this stuff's to bind it i'll also be using some polyester fibers um we did we did consider other options but the polyester fibers i think are our best option so what i'm actually doing with dovey's assistance is using a sprayer i'm spraying the walls with water Seems ridiculous after we've gone to all this trouble to get them dry, but we actually need the walls wet for the plaster to adhere properly. Okay, the wall is wet. Yep, yeah, I've got mixed next batch. First load mixed, machine, and we're good to go. Oh. Two barrows in, and that's that wall coated. And that one. Chris is just out mixing in the mix now. We are going to put a second coat on. It's drying really quickly. Just because this is very undulated, just so I can make it more roundy and pretty. We're very happy with the coverage. It's going on well. So there goes Lillian. Splatting away. Yes, one wall done. Next wall on. Oh. Coffee. Oh, that was just so hot. Yes. Ooh. So that's what we've achieved so far. This is mix number three. Three, yes. Three. And it's already what we put on first thing. It's already gone off. It's ready for its second layer to be sponged down. So, happy? Very. Awesome. Right, I've just let the uh, camera run out. 
He's just come home. Mega? So where? Uh, well, they're happy with footage that they've got for how it works and the idea of uh, what we're doing. The reason they needed it is because TV program next year needs the footage before Christmas this year for editing and things. Don't know. We were just did. We just did as we were asked. Yes. So potentially you could be on UK TV next, next year. year. Yes. What in the beginning of the year? End of the year? Spring. Uh, you're, you're dealing with it all. Yeah, spring, which is why they needed the footage for now because they're editing the shows that are going on TV next spring. Okay. Now. Um, the way it works apparently is they create shows, they put them to the TV companies, as in the channels, um, and then tell them what, how many episodes it's going to be and what have you, so they can do their scheduling. Scheduling is done months and months and months in advance. Okay. And to that end, they have to have the shows ready months and months in advance. So, uh, And then it goes out for tender on who wants it or something? No, it's already been picked. Okay. The show is uh, good to go. Okay. It's not out to tender, it's been accepted already. Awesome. It's a current British TV show and it's been accepted again for this next two years. So we'll just have to wait and see, but potentially we're looking at this next spring being on UK TV. Awesome. We can't watch it, we don't have UK TV here. Yeah. <laughs> Left. We have to go to a bar somewhere and say, Oh you know, man. What? Why just put this on because we can watch it ourselves? Really? How big-headed would that be? But what, we'd have to actually go to a bar to watch telly? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> oh, come Who's on. Driving? Yeah. <laughs> we'd have to go, excuse me, do you mind just putting this particular channel on at this time of day because we're on it? No. We can't even watch ourselves on TV because we don't have British TV. <laughs> Somebody have to tell us how it goes, won't they? Yes. Ridiculous yeah. is that? Yes, yeah, so anybody watching from the UK, if, uh, if any of our subscribers from the UK actually get to watch it, you'll have to let us know what you think when it happens. Yeah. Well, we'll let you know what's going to happen, despite the TV company going to tell us. But we have no way of watching it. No, no. But these days, you can't, you can't even ask somebody to record things off TV. When I was a kid, you could record things on the tape, couldn't you, off the telly? I don't think you can anymore, can you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure technology is there. But we're not allowed to say anything about what channel or programme it is until it's the first episode has been aired. Well, okay. Look at that. 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 Look there are a few bits, as we said yesterday, which uh, where there were some rocks quite prominent and I knew that it was going to need a bit more of a top up there. And underneath this rock, for example, it didn't want to take to the underside. I'll do that by hand and add some more. Yeah. There's a wee bit of crackage where it was on a little bit thicker. That's normal anyway. To be anyway. expected, which is normal. And then when it gets whitewashed, it'll fill that anyway. It fills it, exactly, exactly. Now, I'm thrilled to bits with that. Awesome. This side. There's a few more cracks I noticed there. Yeah. But again, they'll just fill anyway. They'll fill. Or maybe I could go, oh no, I can't, because I'm not allowed. I was going to suggest that I could go over and sponge it again. But you don't like me sponging. Step away from the sponge. Okay. <clears throat> but overall, yeah. Definitely, definitely good. Yes. So this, this here needs its final count. Yes. And then this wall needs to be done, but not today, because you're about to go to work. I am. And then I've got to take this doll up to the vets this afternoon for his yearly rabies jab. Yes, you. I know. No, you no, you're making boss and me all white and paddy pory. Look at this. That was a clean t-shirt. It's still lying on the floor, that's what the weight <clears> is. <throat> it's now all over Chris. <laughs> I know, I know. You can have some breakfast soon now. He's excited because it's breakfast time. <laughs> well, you were clean, Heidi. <clears throat> Never yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay, so the day after, the day before. 
<coughs> um, couldn't do anything yesterday. Um, Lillian was at work, and then uh, she had to take the day over to the uh, the vets, and uh, I had to make the video <laughs> for the last one you had to do. So I was editing that. Um, I will get better at editing. I'm doing my best. I'm still learning. Even after all this time, I'm a bit of a slow learner. So, I have some uh, work to do. And I'm going to be using not the white lime. I'll be using more of the construction lime. So, I'll just put the lights on. Uh, so, we check the uh, compressor out. And everything seems to be okay with it. It was working fine when we did a quick test yesterday. Um, check the oil level and that's all perfect so we don't know why it's been temperamental it has been suggested that potentially it's because we're using it in, in, in an extension lead uh, that potentially could be the issue with it and uh, when we do the tests on it we tend to just start it it's plugged into the normal mains without an extension lead so possibly that's the reason anyway so what I've got to do is we just need a little bit of a filler in here because we don't want to just keep filling it and filling it and filling it. So I'll, I'll make a mix and put some in there. Um, a little few slithers in here, a little bit there, a little bit here as well. I'm literally going to be just be facing it. But I'm going to try and stack the stones horizontally instead of splat inside. In one of our earlier videos, I went right on a little trip to get some sausages, some pork pies. Very nice they were too. Um, and we mentioned that there's a possibility that I may be getting a little bit of work helping out the butcher. As I've previously said, I'm a butcher. Well, the guy's been in contact and they'd like me to Come and see him tomorrow afternoon. So today's Wednesday, the uh, release date of our last vid of our previous video. And tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to go and see him and uh, spend a couple of hours there, or more. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So that's an exciting thing. And uh, if it if it goes well, potentially I may have some work on the lead up to Christmas. And then who knows after that. So I'm starting on this back wall. I've got those rocks there that I want to use, and these rocks here that I want to use. Uh, I'll do this one first, because that'll be the easiest one. And I'll go to that one. Unfortunately, I can't get rock and rock to sit that way. So it looks like I am gonna have to do a facing rock there just to bring it out, which is really quite disappointing. But that's the way it is. I was hoping I could find something that would make a shelf and go onto there, but there isn't enough underneath it. Right, I'll get them in the water and get them soaking. And um, these are quite porous rocks, so I need to soak them. If it was marble rocks, um, which are not as anywhere near as porous, then obviously I wouldn't need to, to soak them. Okay, so here we go. Water for the rocks, I've just taken them out, got my mix of uh, the lime, just wet the holes, got my gloves, well actually these are a Lillian's gloves, are a little bit loose on her hands and a bit tight on mine. <laughs> all nice and secure. I won't agitate it anymore, I'll just leave it to go off. Hmm. Same process, I'll carry on and we'll see where we are in a few minutes. Right, that's this wall more or less done. Um, these rocks I've just put in um, and they're stable so that's good but I do need to put another rock in there I should wait now 
and so this has all gone off, or at least gone hard, where I've gone off properly for a day or so. Um, and then I can get a rock into that point there. Okay, so next, Ooh, I'll just move you around. There. You should do a similar job just here, just to pack it. But again, we have to have rocks standing up and not what we want. But we can't have too thick with the original line coat, with, with the final line coating, because it just ends up being a big mass and it'll just keep slumping and slumping. So if I can get some lightish flat rocks just to sit there, just to bring it out a bit, maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe, maybe just a centimetre or so, something like, something like this, not that necessarily this rock, but something like that, just to, just to fill it. So that wall's all been packed. Lily might want another little rock, but I think we'll work around it. And that's all that filled. I managed to get the majority of rocks the way I wanted them horizontally, but as you saw, some of them are having to be vertical instead, which is a real shame. But needs must, unfortunately. But well, they're going to have a really good thick coating of render anyway, so that'll hold them in place even more. So, that was ready for spraying now. What have you been up to? What have you been up to? Well, I've done what I said. You made a mess. All great artists. <laughs> <laughs> and all that gayos. Oh, nice. Oop. Awesome. Much better. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Yep, perfect. In there? Yes. Yeah. Really good, much flatter area. Much better. Cool. It's been hard work. Yeah, because I wasn't able in place I wasn't able to stack the stones like we should. Yeah. Okay. I had to do them uh, I have got wet lime all over you in the okay. top. Work, work, top. Don't forget down, man. Come on. Yeah, I know you'd have to get that washed off straight away. Lime is the new black. Yes. So, yeah, a lot of them are upwards as opposed to horizontal out of one. Okay. Okay? Yeah, no, looking good. Well done. Right, and I've done some more for real as well. Thank you. You walked straight past it because you wasn't expecting me to have done it. So I've got. Oh yeah. There. Yes. Yeah. That corner. Yeah. Yeah. Stick it down there. 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 That's just spillage. And over there. Perfect. Well done. Yeah. All these silly little jobs that take a heck of a lot of time, but part of the prep's got to be done. It's got to be done right. Yes. Well done. Good job. Well done. Okay, so I decided not, we're not going to be doing up there because it would be too dangerous to have a rock up there. Yes. It potentially could fall. Okay. Um, there's just a couple of other places on to put some big rocks in. Uh -huh. And then that's all the holes where the lintels were, all filled. So uh, that'll be better. And uh, that's it. Right, you better get on. We're getting that t shirt. Line wash out of it. Yes. yes. Get yourself a chase. We'll have grab a bite to eat, and then you better get on with the transcript for last for the last video. I know. There you go. The way life goes. Indeed. It's the way it is. Indeed. Right. I'm done for the day. The weather has been to me. We just had a major, major downpour. It lasted about two minutes. That was all. But the wash, um, washing machine. It's a very big set, even on the outside. Uh, luckily it didn't get any water on it and it wasn't connected to the mains anyway so that's fine but it looks like we're going to get a lot more this evening so uh, I'm packing up Lillian's doing the words as we said so I've got that hole filled as well and all along there back filled as well and that levelled off because that bit there just sloped like mad so I've got a nice wedged stone in there so that's flat ready for the next mix and I'm, I didn't have enough to complete that so that's a shame 
quite pleased with what I got done. I'd like to have got done more, but these things do take time. <laughs> Everything we do takes time, actually. 